Bob Saget on the set of Full House. His colleagues again imply that he was consistently inappropriate when children were around. His entire job consisted of saying, take a look at this, which is what he used to say to Mary Kate Olsen in her dressing room. Al should have been called Blackjack because you hit on the Olsons when they were eight. He didn't stop till they were 21. For eight seasons, half an hour a week, Full House kept pet off the street. What's going on gang? We are back with another video. You already know what we're here for. We got a great compilation today that will blow your mind. But anyways guys, let's talk more action. So let's get into it. Did you hear the news? Are you talking about how the city of Pittsburgh will no longer be taking 911 calls between the hours of 3 a.m. and 7 a.m.? You know, prime time crime hours. Uh, yeah, your call will be going to voicemail in Pittsburgh. Can't make <coughs> the purge. Oh, and Airbnb has banned the use of uh, owners placing inside video cameras on the premises. Like, I know what he's saying, but what is he saying? He stated that Airbnbs will not be allowed to use cameras inside of their Airbnb. What do you mean? When was that ever legal? I mean, how was that even a good idea? I was going to say maybe like the living room, but no, there should be no cameras in a facility that is used for personal use. That is out of pocket. You are saying to the human race for the first time, an official intelligence representative at a high level from the US government is saying publicly, we are not alone. We're definitely not alone. We have spacecraft from another species. We do, yeah. How many? Quite a number. You're kidding. No. I guarantee you they are going to come up with excuses for the rapture very, very easily. When very. the world of Christians get raptured and they're wanting to explain why they've been taken away, I guarantee you they're going to use the UFO abduction excuse and people are going to believe it. Why? Because they're prepping people to believe it right now. And it's all part of Satan's deception. All of that to say... We're getting raptured soon. Jesus is coming soon. Look up, get ready, put your hands to the plow, get to work because he's coming for us. Yo, we are so mind effed. Like I said, we all I know is what I feel in my spirit. They got us so desensitized and so brainwashed and they go back and forth on so many things. And at this point, it's like when they say that, no, they don't exist. We want to be like, yeah, they do. They really do. But then now that they're saying that they do exist, it's almost making me want to be like, do they? I can't even trust anything that comes out of their mouth or anything that comes out in media because they lie so much. It almost makes you question yourself too, because once they do agree with you, you're just like, hmm, something's not right here. Something's fishy, you know, but I very much do believe in the great deception, of course. And I already know Project Bloomy is 100% about to happen. They probably got so much good stuff up their sleeves. They really might trick everybody. I don't know, you guys. They they know what they're doing. They just know. We never granted Timmy a secret wish. White House, though? I never did, Mr. What did you do? Oh, I did. I did make a secret wish. Cosmo doesn't want to remember granting it because I wish he'd forget. I secretly wish that everyone would stop aging so that I could stay 10 years old and keep my fairies forever. <laughs> what? When did you make this wish? 50 years ago. I really didn't understand what they meant by that. But um, if you guys know what's going on in that one, let me know down below. Like, what are they referring to? I didn't I didn't really catch it. Oh, okay. You have to go out and see these shadows six more weeks of winter. So I tell my little friend, Boo, I see the kid, man. I got this calendar I made. Mm -hmm. February the 2nd, see here, right here? Mm -hmm. Now spring is March 21st. So here's two calendars, two, two sheets. And I said, if you count from February the 2nd, or as they said, six more weeks of winter, from February the 2nd to March 21st is six weeks. Mm -hmm. right. The groundhog ain't got nothing. I've been doing that all my life. This is what I'm talking about. So much mind effery. But one of the most interesting subjects, you guys, go look up the Ethiopian calendar and ask Google or wherever you want to search this information. Ask them what year it is in Ethiopia. Super interesting. I think it's just going to get weirder and weirder and weirder. And finally, it's going to be so weird 
that people are going to have to talk about how weird it is. I look for the invention of artificial life, the cloning of human beings, uh, possible contact with extraterrestrials, possible human immortality, and at the same time, appalling acts of brutality, genocide, race bathing, uh, homophobia famine, starvation, because uh, the systems which are in place to keep the world sane are in utterly inadequate to the forces that have been unleashed. Uh, the collapse of the socialist world, the rise of the internet. I promise you, I don't understand how people don't see it. How do you wake up in the morning and go outside and go to work and go do all this stuff and not see it? How do you not even, you don't even have to see it. How do you not feel it? And Mr. McKenna, you are talking about the days we are in right now. And tell me if you recognize anything there. Yes, I do. It looks, it resembles a panel that I saw at the structure in Antarctica. That was a panel that had the star map on it. And the star map. Do you know? The, from what they could uh, estimate, it was not only our universe, but three universes combined in one large star map. The focal point was what our Hubble Space Telescope has photographed and recorded at that time. And then they correlated what the Hubble Space Telescope had taken photographs of that was not in our universe, but actually a different universe outside, further out than what we think our universe is. I know that what you just said to me was that we were using the Hubble to photograph in another universe outside of this universe. Yes, ma'am. And then another universe. Yes, ma'am. The way it was described to me, they were taking mathematical equations, formulas, from different points of our universe and pinpointing it to photographs or recordings that was made by our Hubble Space Telescope, which at that time was the best technological device that we had at that time. Was this generated by extraterrestrial beings? Yes, ma'am. This can only be broken down in two things, I feel like, as far as we know. So either we are in a firmament, and if we are, how far do these satellites go? Or do you even think that there are satellites up there? Because just because they tell us something is up there does not mean that they are. Now, to make this video true and to believe that the satellites are actually up there to see another universe or another galaxy, I feel like they will have to be beyond the firmament. So how do you guys feel about that? Which one do you think is the truth? Zero was like this, right? That means nothing, right? Right. You take a one and a zero, what do you have? Two. You add another zero. A hundred. Add another zero. A thousand. Add another zero. Ten thousand. But you were taught that it means nothing. And in the bag of it means a lot of money. The zero is the most powerful number in the world. Look how your money multiplies. <laughs> right, right. And the three hours is what you learn, not the three hours. The three hours read and write and arithmetic, that's a myth. Because arithmetic spells with A and write spells with a W. How can they be the three hours? But they are three letters, three letter L's. Look, listen, and you will always learn. That's how we learn, by looking and listening. Otherwise, they will never learn nothing if we don't look and listen. We people of color got to have it to say, stop yelling at me, I hear you. I don't want you to hear me, I want you to listen to me. This is hearing, but this is listening when y'all talking directly to you. So stop telling people to stop yelling at you, you hear them. They don't want you to hear them, they want you to listen to them. You know, that's very true. A lot of times when we are arguing, when there's any type of debate, people talk louder only because they're feeling like the other person is not just not hearing, but they're actually not listening. They're not listening to the needs of the other person. So a lot of times we have misunderstandings and arguments and things like that because, yes, we might hear somebody, but we are not listening to what that person is trying to communicate and what they are trying to get out of us. So it's very important. We can definitely learn a lot from that. I just asked them is they, if they know that the black people are the real Jews. Do y'all know that? Uh, yeah, uh, black people are the real Jews. Yeah. So, because a lot, uh, uh, we don't know. They're not telling us. No, because they, they, they use the, they whitewash the whole thing they, down to make you believe that the blacks were, you know, of no significance. So. And where, and where are you from? I'm from India. From India. See, I keep telling y'all, people overseas know who we are. I keep telling y'all, but that's, y'all don't want to believe me. <laughs> they don't want to believe me. What? Look at 
I always say this in my videos, being from another country that um, when we go to church, we have icons all over the church. We have pictures of different saints and prophets, and a lot of them are melanated people. If that's the true history, it should not be a problem. If that's history, that's history. Everybody's still here. Everybody is still going on and living their life. If God put us here, God put us here. But something like that is very strange to the American people. But what's stranger is for people to change and misinterpret history. You know, that's the, that's the strangest part to me. Yeah, a lot of foreign people are very familiar with these concepts. It's not a lot of denial like it is out here. Out here is very, very different. Caught trucks arriving at the World Trade Center from about August 23rd until every night until about September 2nd, September 3rd. And the trucks were arriving at about 3 o'clock in the morning when everybody else had left the building, including the janitorial trucks. Something was brought into that building that would help with the detonation. There may have been work done on the detonation before. Uh, it may have been going on for months, but whatever they needed at the very end, they came and brought in those, that 10 day period. I feel like it's a very sensitive subject, but a lot of things like this is uncomfortable to talk about because so many people and so many families were affected. Even for a conspiracy theorist or a truther, it's like we almost want to kind of close our eyes on this one because it just feels like there's no way that this would be an inside job. But at the same time, like I said, if you look and you want to see, you're going to see what really happened by watching the videos and every footage that's available out there that an inside job only makes sense on this one. Let's get it. All the right, so. inside of a Masonic building. And then you slide. In Stanton, Virginia. See that? Oops. Now. Catch it. Catch it. Yeah, who is that? Oscar Meyer right now. We have Look. a We have a few um now, Masonic buildings out here for sure. Freemason shit about. Alright. They never what have we windows or anything. What's that about? Okay, trying to scare the kid. Now, <clears throat> I see the checkered board. All right. As above, so below. Yeah, what's that about? Oh, then they got a, a never ending mirror. All right, so that's pretty cool. up forever what is this mystery i really hope for his sake that that's like one of the abandoned buildings or they took a masonic building and transformed it into something else like maybe it's the old one because i don't know if i want to go in there how about you guys isn't that the... Yeah. You can see Dick Cheney, Al Gore, all nine Supreme Court justices shapeshift into reptilians. Did you know that for thousands of years, creatures from the constellation Draco have been mating with humans to form a super race that includes 43 U.S. presidents, most members of Congress, and the entire British royal family? Do you believe that intelligent life exists on other planets? between humans and extraterrestrials took place over 100,000 years ago in Atlantis and in its sister civilization in the Pacific, Lemuria. Ancient civilizations on every continent have recorded evidence of these encounters. These visitors were highly advanced and did not appear in human form. Now, the Mayans called them Chanes, people of the serpents, and in Hebrew legend, the snake represented knowledge. Of course it did. It was not human, not of this earth. History is replete with stories of the heroic destruction of serpents. Perseus and Medusa, St. George and the Dragon, St. Patrick and the Snakes of Ireland. But these are not okay. legends. And the natural form of these invaders is not human. They are described in ancient accounts as serpents and dragons. And man's weapon against them is the sword. 
Like I always say in my videos, y'all got to do some research about the Draco bloodline and how it dates back all the way from Adam as in Adam and Eve and just how there's like the good side and the bad side. And you know, the bad side of course is the Draco side. I'm telling you right now, super interesting. It breaks it down to like the A, B, A, B positive, A, B negative, the A, R, H one, um, the O blood type, all of that is super crazy. Is their pupils, their slitted pupils. Do you know how rare that is in the animal kingdom? Lions do not have slitted pupils. They're round just like ours. Tigers don't have slitted pupils either, nor do jaguars. Now, this is kind of a weird thing because I kind of thought that a domesticated house cat came from a big cat at some point down the line. But if they don't have slitted pupils like a house cat does, then what does have slitted pupils? Reptiles, snakes, and alligators have slitted pupils. Not any other cat. Now, in many cultures, ancient reptiles were considered to be kind of a trippy creature that had other abilities and senses. The other thing that's weird is that cats hiss like a snake, and they have slitted pupils like a reptile. They also love to eat mice, as do snakes. Now, we know how much the ancient Egyptians loved cats. Cats also have pineal glands. And you notice that cats will do that thing where they'll look in the corner of the room and be making a fuss about what seems to be nothing. It is believed that their eyes enable them to see outside of the visible light spectrum that me and you are bound by. Now, it's not known how a cat has half the attributes of a lion and half the attributes of a snake, but perhaps some genetic tinkering went on many, many years ago in ancient worlds and civilization. Bro, that's intriguing and suspicious at the same time. So wait a minute. You're telling me there's no other animal that has like slitted eyes other than reptiles. Is that a fact? Is that true? So you're saying that a cat is the only animal that has eyes like that? Other than reptiles. Something fishy going on. Remember kids, the next time that somebody tells you the government wouldn't do that. Oh yes they would. Insuring out of copper. It also generates another field, right? That's how the pyramids work too. I can feel it on my whole helmet. That's crazy. That's what I just said. That's crazy. That's what could type. <laughs> Don't mess around and choo choo. <laughs> Go fuck around and start shooting lasers on the motherfucker. <laughs> Black, yeah. Yeah, y'all done fucked up now. <laughs> y'all done gave the right one the whip. <laughs> 718? Let's try it. 718. This is 718. Let's see. <laughs> he can't get enough of it. What? Where do you get that? Where do you get that I need that ASAP? Because imagine all of us just walking around with that on our head. That would be so dope and so crazy at the same time. But yeah, I would love to have one of those. I love stuff like that. So how exactly um, is a fraud in the document that you sent over to me? Okay, the way there's fraud is that your bank provided zero dollars for my transaction mm -hmm. from your coffers. That's what I've been asking for the whole time. And that's what I explained to you in that first meeting when you had that other gal sitting there. Kathy, if we... How did we not provide any any money? Because if we didn't provide any money, you wouldn't be able to live on that property. Well, first of all, there is no money. There's only debt. So you guys are asking me to pay your this debt with, with debt because there is no money. It's just currency. Um, but the question is, I guess, what I found out and what I'm trying... And it's right there in black and white, um, one through five, that you guys are provided the money based on my credit, my trust. And when I say trust, you say there's no trust... Um, that's around I, what I mean by that is you know like I trust you I trust you to, to say okay you know what we're a bank and we have money you're gonna jump through um, a month and a half worth of hoops 
You're going to sign over your life. You're going to sign over your children. And we can kick you out physically from your home, however you provided the value. So isn't there just a swap or exchange of credit going on with the Federal Reserve? And is it really money that's being produced here? Did you guys really produce this money from your bank? Because it didn't show that in what you sent me. It showed that you guys got that from the Federal Reserve. And then it went into my bank account. That lady knew a little bit too much information, but that's something that we should all know. But you know what is crazy? What would happen if you would go to the bank and actually state all that information to them? Like either they're gonna look at you crazy or they're gonna call somebody and make sure that was the last time you came through to their bank. Pay insufficient attention to the frightening scenario of a comprehensive cyber attack, which would bring to a complete halt to the power supply, transportation, hospital services. The COVID-19 crisis would be seen in this respect as a small disturbance in comparison to a major cyber attack. Okay. Lie, no disrespect to anybody, but like, listen to me, I'm foreign as well. But like, that accent on him scares me. Like, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna joke, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. That just scares me, and that man scares me in general because every time I see him pop up, which I do see him often, he got something crazy and end of the worldish type of stuff to say. So, I'm just trying to figure out who is this man because I do see him often, um, on like the TikTok platform. And every time he speaks about something or announces something, it's usually not that great. So, if y'all know his name, definitely jot it down below in the comments or let me know what position he plays in all of this and what he does. Okay. Everyone's talking about Haiti. Everyone wants to talk about Haiti. Yes, they're eating people in Haiti. Let me show you why. And, and we're not even going to get into how the Clinton Foundation pushed Monsanto seeds on Haiti back in the 90s and uh, that ruined their entire agricultural system. We won't even get into that, but look into that shit. We don't, we don't even have to get into the CIA trying to kill the Haitian president in the 90s because they did it two years ago. Yeah. Oh, about uh, two years ago, the Haitian president was killed, uh, shot in his own home. And it turns out that every single member of the hit team was, first of all, American. And secondly, they were part of the CIA-run counter-narcotics team in the Colombian military. Here's, here's another maybe something to think about. Haiti totally rejected the, the vaccines back during COVID. So, so, for anyone wondering, the reason Haiti's so fucked is because of us. This man is always on point, y'all, and it's so crazy, if I'm just being honest, the amount of gaslighting that the U.S. has created throughout the world. Crazy to say that, I think that the U.S.'s best weapon ever created is Hollywood. Through Hollywood, they have really portrayed themselves to be whoever they wanted to be, and they just have this amazing gaslit perception of them behind the veil and behind the mask. They are one of the biggest villains. Saget on the set of Full House. His colleagues again imply that he was consistently inappropriate when children were around. His entire job consisted of saying, take a look at this, which is what he used to say to Mary Kate Olsen in her dressing room. Now should have been called Blackjack because you hit on the Olsons when they were eight. He didn't stop till they were 21. For eight seasons, half an hour a week, Full House kept pets off the street. In fact, three of them were on the show. <laughs> After all these years, I'd never met the Olsen twins. He introduced me to them. I said to him, how do I tell them apart? He says, Ashley swallows. And everybody Bro, I just want to say there's no way that, that man looks so sweet. He just looks so innocent, almost like, you know, just nerdy. He just looks so calm. But like, that's the type of people that we got to look out for. You can really never identify anybody just by the way they look. I mean, to the people that are really sensitive to energy. Yes, you can definitely feel stuff and you can definitely tell that somebody is just off a little bit, you know, or a lot. Don't ever trust anybody with your kids. I don't care what age they are. And that stuff right there, just them laughing about things like that is so creepy. Because it wasn't even one joke. It was just like one after another after another. One of those things where they want to desensitize us and make that the norm make us laugh at it if there's any type of suspicion always look into it those people are 100 percent just evil pure evil all of those people right there should just be locked up just for playing like that 
y'all that last video was really crazy and i mean it kind of just like blew me like i don't know it was so out of pocket you know but we have to face these things no matter how strange how creepy or how often disturbing videos are we have to get into it you know we have to talk about it but other than that you guys thank you so much for reacting to these videos with me and spending time with me thank you to everybody that has subscribed and became a part of our family i appreciate you guys so so much for anybody that is brand new on our channel please join us we would love to have you here now to become a part of our family all you have to do is hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell down below so that way you can get the notifications every time a video comes out most importantly guys if you want to support the channel hit the like button and comment down below every time you do that it really pushes the algorithm and really spread the wisdom the knowledge and make people awake and aware of what's really going on which is super important to our community but most importantly we love to see you interact on the channel so that way we can have conversations teach each other new information and most importantly have some fun and get to know each other but anyways guys that is it that is all remember that everything is everything be good and do right and i will catch you on the next one